Nice. Red. Green color, green color, where are you? Here. Lovely. Green. Purple color, purple color, where are you? Here. The lips. Yay. Purple. Orange color, orange color, where are you? Here. Ooh, stripey orange. Yellow color, yellow color, where are you? Here. Ooh, yellow. Pink color, pink color, where are you? Here. Other cheek. Ooh, wow. More, more, encore. Blue color, blue color, where are you? Here. Yay, around the eye and the nose. Blue. Silver color, silver color, where are you? Here. The other eye. Yeah. Silver. Brown color, brown color, where are you? Here. Ooh, on the chin. A triangle. Brown. Black color, black color, where are you? Here. Ooh, under the eye. Ooh, and around the other colors too. The other side. Let's make it even. And up to the nose. Done. Black. Woohoo! Well done. Great job. It's morning. Time to get up. <laughs> Yay! Let's go and brush our teeth! Hey, which toothbrush is yours? The yellow one! Mine's the purple one! Let's brush, brush, brush! All around the side to reach the back you open wide! Done! Time to have a shower! The water is blue! Lovely. Ooh, and let's dry ourselves with our pink towels. Time to have breakfast. Ooh, yummy. Yay. This looks delicious. Yay. Let's eat. Uh -huh. Yummy. I'm going to drink my red drink and you can drink your green drink. Delicious. Time to go to school. Yours is the pink bag. And mine's the blue. Let's go. Walking to school. Looking so cool. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. We're going on the school bus. It's yellow. Hi. We're going to spin our ice cream cone spinning wheel. We're going to learn colours today. Yes, we are. Let's scoop on some ice cream first. Our ice cream machine will put it on for us. Woohoo! One at a time. So we're just putting on plain flavoured ice cream at the moment. And we've got to choose our colours and flavours afterwards. One more to do. Brilliant! Now, let's spin the wheel. Which colour should we do first? What flavour is your favourite flavour? Oh, I do love this spinning wheel. I'm having a great time doing this. How about you? Again? <laughs> let's spin it even faster. It's so much fun. Let's do green. It could be mint flavoured ice cream or even pistachio. What do you think? What should we do next? Red. 
red, strawberry, or raspberry? What do you prefer? Oh, I love this game. It's so much fun. Blue. Ooh, that could be blueberry flavored ice cream. Yay. Let's do purple. Ooh, blackberry ice cream. Oh, I love it. Oh, and yellow. That can be lemon. And if you don't fancy an ice cream, you can have sorbet instead. They're very refreshing, you know. Orange next for our orange flavoured ice cream. Let's do pink. Woohoo! Pink, that can be raspberry flavoured. Or maybe bubblegum. Spinning. One brown. That's chocolate. It's my favourite. Ooh, delicious. Let's do an olive green coloured. That's more like pistachio, I think. Yeah, that's right. And cyan. Ooh, I wonder what flavour that could be. Ooh, black. Hmm, licorice maybe. Interesting. Spinning. And last but not least, plain white. That could just be vanilla, can't it? What is your favourite colour? Which is your favourite flavour? If you have a real ice cream, you could mix them together, couldn't you? I like to have two scoops on mine. I think I'll go for pink and purple. Ooh, yeah. Even if you can't eat ice cream, there's loads of other options. And I just can't stop spinning this wheel. <laughs> Look, dinosaurs come to try some. Ooh, yummy. I'm going to have a scoop. <laughs> yeah. It's morning. Time to get up. <laughs> Yay! Let's go and brush our teeth! Hey, which toothbrush is yours? The yellow one! Mine's the purple one! Let's brush, brush, brush! All around the side to reach the back you open wide! Done! Time to have a shower! The water is blue! Lovely! Ooh, and let's dry ourselves with our pink towels! Time to have breakfast! Oh, yummy! Yay. This looks delicious! Yay. Let's eat! Uh -huh. Yummy! I'm going to drink my red drink and you can drink your green drink! Delicious! Yay. Time to go to school! Yours is the pink bag! And mine's the blue! Let's go! Walking to school, looking so cool. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. We're going on the school bus. It's yellow. Hey kids, today we're going to draw and colour some emotions. That's right, we're going to draw six different faces. See if you can guess which is which. They're so easy to draw. Each one is just a simple circle. We've got some oval eyes, except for the first one who's wearing oblong sunglasses. Mouths going in different directions, depending on the emotion. Eyebrows up or down, curved or straight. In this one, the mouth's wide open. In the last one, we've got one eye open and one eye closed and the tongue is sticking out. Right, time to paint, starting with green. Now, which emotion do you think this one could be? Do you think it's sad? No. Angry? No. Maybe silly? Mm, no, I don't think so. How about happy? What do you think? 
looks very happy to me. Let's just colour in the mouth black. Right, orange for the next one. Now which emotion could this one be? It's definitely not looking happy. The mouth is turned down at the sides. Hmm, I think he looks pretty scared. What do you think? Black for the mouth. Next one can be blue. Now this one, their eyebrows are far apart. The mouth is turned down. Have you ever heard the phrase, I'm feeling kind of blue today? Well, this one certainly is blue because he's sad. Aww. Red for the next one. Have you ever seen red? What kind of things make your face go red? You could be sunburned. Maybe you're blushing and embarrassed or shy. I think this one is angry. Black for the mouth. Yellow for the next one. Hmm. Eyes wide open. Mouth wide open too. Which emotion could this one be? Happy? No. Angry? No. How about surprised? Yeah. Black for the mouth. Last but not least, I'm going for purple, my favourite colour. Now this face is looking super cheeky. One eye is closed, like it's winking at me. Sticking his tongue out, cheeky fella. I think this one has definitely got to be feeling silly. Red tongue. Finally the mouth. Some white paint to put a little bit of shimmer and shine on each of our faces. Which one is your favourite? There you go, six different emotions. Happy, scared, sad, angry, surprised and silly. Which one are you feeling today? Ooh la la, today we're going to draw a gorgeous stiletto heel shoe. Glittery and colourful, starting with heart detail. Now let's do the outline of the shoe. Pointy toe. Up we go. And back around. Now in the frame. Inside. Some stripes. And our heel. Right, time to paint. Let's start with gorgeous peach for the inside. That's our inner sole. Now, sparkly yellow. Wow, look at that. That's the inside edge. And the rim going around our heart carefully and our heart must of course be red well you don't have to do it red you can do it any color you like purple next we're going to paint each segment a different color to have a gorgeous rainbow colored stiletto heeled shoe green next you could alternate two different colours, do different shades of the same colour. It really depends on what you like the best. Red looks lovely. Turquoise next. And pink. Gotta have some pink in there. Up and down, keeping inside the borders. Brilliant. Green next. Time to paint our heel. Royal blue. Side to side. And up. There. That was easy, wasn't it? What a wonderful shoe. I would love to have one just like that in my wardrobe, wouldn't you? Hey kids, guess what? We're going to draw a dinosaur today. That's right. 
Ooh, let's start with the eyes. Two small circles, two little arch eyebrows, a gorgeous bobbly hat. Now for the main body. And the legs and the neck. Feet, tummy. There. A bit of detail. That's right. Good job. And some stripes on the hat. Rosy cheeks, smiley mouth, nostrils. And you can't have a party without balloons because I think it's this dino's birthday today. Fantastic! There! A little bit of flowery detail. Wow, what would you like to put on your dinosaur? Maybe some hearts, maybe some stars. Right, let's paint. Gold first. For the bubble on our hat. And now we're going to do the stripes. Multicoloured, of course. I do love his party hat. Red tongue. Turquoise for the last stripe. Now let's go for some pink rosy cheeks. And flowers. Next, for the main body. Do you know much about dinosaurs? Can you think of any dinosaur names? How about T-Rex? How about Stegosaurus? Brachiosaurus? Can you think of any others? Pterodactyl? There were flying dinosaurs, swimming dinosaurs, walking dinosaurs, meat-eating dinosaurs, leaf-eating dinosaurs, just so many different types. There. Gold tummy. And brown toes. We'll do yellow for the centre of our flowers. Right, time to colour our balloons. Starting with red. Ooh, lovely. And yellow. Hmm, what colour shall we do our third balloon? How about purple? What a great colour. And done. And turquoise just for the finishing touches. Voila! You have one beautiful, party-tastic baby dinosaur. Ah! Hey kids, guess what this is? That's right, it's a whale! That's what we're going to be drawing and painting today. Let's start with the outline. There, time to do some detail. The tummy, the fin. Now we do the stripes, curvy stripes. Facial features, rosy cheeks, and the water that comes out of the hole. Three drops, lovely. Ready to paint. Starting with turquoise blue, we're going to paint the main body of our gorgeous whale. Have you ever seen a whale? How about in the movies? Can you think of any stories which have whales in them? How about... Jonah and the whale, you know, where he's eaten by the whale and he survives in the whale's belly for a very long time and then escapes. How about Free Willy, the one who gets to go home to his family in the ocean? So we're painting very carefully around our facial features. And done! A little splash of water can be turquoise too. Pink now! Rosy cheeks, of course. Let's go for purple while we do our little water hole and one of our stripes. Green next. We're going to do a gorgeous rainbow tummy. Why not? Excellent. Let's go for yellow. What colours will you use to paint your whale's belly? Red? Brilliant! There you have it! 
a gorgeous rainbow sparkly whale just bobbing up and down in the deep blue sea. Wow! Hi friends, today we're going to draw a jeep. That's right, a nice big jeep. Ooh, let's start with the wheels. Circular, three circles, big, medium, small, one inside the other. And we're going to do it twice. Starting with the body now. Just follow our shapes. Rectangular, oval. Now we're doing the root. Straight back. Over the wheel and there. Just attaching that back wheel there. Finishing off our frame. The window is a parallelogram. Can you say that? Parallelogram. What's a parallelogram? Well, it's a shape that has four unequal sides. And the spare tyre on the back. Let's not forget the roof rack. Brilliant! Time to paint. We'll go for black first for our tyres. There. Right, green next. That is going to go inside the black. Same on the back wheel. Excellent. Now pink. There. Let's go with yellow next. Oh, I love choosing all these different colours. We're doing yellow for the frame that goes over each wheel. And round to attach them on. Back to green for some small details. Our front and back bumpers. Turquoise for our windows. What shape is that? That's right, it's a square. And here's our parallelogram. Now purple, my favourite colour for the spare tyre on the back. And we're going for a nice royal blue. It's darker than turquoise. Isn't it amazing how many different types of the same colour there are? Excellent. Blue on the front too. Doesn't that royal blue sparkle? And done. Next, we're going back to yellow again for our light and the front door. There. And the rest of the Jeep's body. Let's go for the gold. And silver for our door handles. Metal attachment for the roof rack. Some pink. We like to do different coloured stripes. We're going to add some yellow there because that really blends in with the rest of the Jeep. We didn't even need to paint the bottom part. And there you have it. A wonderful sparkly Jeep. Beep, beep. Hi friends, today we are going to draw and paint a living room. That's right, a gorgeous lounge, starting with a sofa. We have to have one of those in our lounge, don't we? We're going to have a nice, long, cool, retro sofa in our lounge. Gorgeous! Next, let's have a picture on the wall. Maybe a painting or a photograph, what do you think? Finishing the frame off, there. A picture of mountains. Gorgeous. Let's do a couple of lights on the wall. One either side of the picture, I think. Lovely light shade there. Coming out of the wall. Now, what else will we have in our living room? I know. How about a plant? Bit of greenery always looks fantastic. How about two? One on either side of our sofa. We can do a wiggly leaved plant in this one. Maybe you could even do some flowers. Yay, let's paint. Yellow first. We're going to do every other stripe of our wall lamp. And pink in the middle. Next, we're going to 
do silver for the metal part and red where it attaches to the wall Let's do the other light exactly the same Do you have these kind of lights coming out of your walls? Maybe you have a side table and a table lamp Perhaps you have a pendant hanging from the ceiling Right, we're going for purple next to do the frame of our lovely mountain picture And blue for the sky because it's a gorgeous sunny day Carefully going around the sun and our triangles which made our mountains Done! Now we're going to do a yellow sun Gorgeous green mountains because our mountains are covered in forest Maybe you'd like to do snow-topped mountains Maybe even a sunset There Green is going to stay on our brush for the plants And a bit of gold for the rim of our pot and brown to finish it off Let's do our sofa next Red for the main part Followed by turquoise for the seat cushions Wow! I would love to have a sparkly red and turquoise sofa, wouldn't you? What colour shall we do the bottom part and the arms? Hmm, how about yellow? That will look fantastic against the turquoise and the red Maybe your sofa has some cushions on it too Purple leg And finally our last plant will be green Squiggly line, squiggly line If you wanted to you could do different shades of green Even on the same leaf to show some shadows Gold for the popped rim And brown for the rest you could even do a pattern on the wallpaper if you wanted Ta-da! There! A gorgeous living room Lovely Hi kids, today we're going to draw and paint some of your favourite toys Do you have a favourite toy? Can you guess what this is? That's right, it's a ball! All you have to do is draw a big circle shape and then decorate it with any pattern you like We're doing some curvy stripes The curves show the round shape of the ball Red for the first stripe What colour shall we do for the second one? Yellow! What a wonderful idea! That stands out really well next to the red Now what kind of games can you play with the ball? Let me see Catch Football Netball Rugby But that's a different shaped ball Maybe even ping pong What's your favourite ball game? Pretty pink stripe, lovely Next we're going for green We like variety it could even be a ball ball hanging from a Christmas tree Look at it sparkle And we are done! Brilliant! Well done! Next we're going to learn how to draw one of your all time favourite toys Now can you guess what it is from the outline? Just copy our shape You can pause the video if you need to that's right, it's a duck Now where might you play with a toy duck? In the bath perhaps? Maybe it's one of those ducks that lights up when it hits the water Maybe it's one of those ducks that squirts water at you Gorgeous yellow with a pink wing What colour would you like to paint your duck? Let's do a turquoise blue eye And finally
finally, the beak is going to be gold. Lovely. Quack, quack. Right, what's next? Can you guess what this is? I'll give you three guesses. A pile of books? No. A light? No, that's not a toy. That's right, it's stacking rings. Did you ever play with these when you were a baby? They're brilliant. You get a big ring, a medium ring, a small ring, even smaller, 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 and you have to stack them in the right order. They're usually lovely rainbow colours. We're going to do ours nice and bright too. So we've got turquoise blue, followed by bright pink, followed by even brighter green. So you just do lots of long oval shapes with a triangle on top. Each one is smaller than the one underneath it. Yellow next. So that triangle at the top is the top of the stick that we stack our rings on. That's going to be purple. Almost there! Done! Excellent stacking rings! Next I'm going to see if you can guess what this is. A circle, a rectangle, another circle with a smaller circle inside. Rectangle, hmm, a circle there, a semicircle there, another rectangle and another. What could it be? That's right, it's a train. Do you have a toy train? Or maybe a train set? I love those ones that link onto each other. Even the ones that go on the wooden train tracks and you can fill the whole floor with train tracks. This is gorgeous red and green. Beautiful. What are your favourite colours? What colour is your train? We're going to use pink for the front. And purple! It's going to be our wheels. Round and round and round. Just the big part, leaving the middle part empty. The end is going to be purple too and a yellow window. And the back side. And the inner wheels too. And there you have it. A very nice, colourful train. Excellent! Last but not least, we're going to draw my all-time favourite. Da -da -da. It's a rocking horse! That's right! Now if you find it a little bit tricky to do the outline, then you can pause the video as you go along and just do one bit at a time. Right, ready to paint? Starting with a gorgeous, natural, peachy, rosy colour, we're going to paint the main body of our horsey. Shall we give it a name? What do you think it should be called? Harry the horse? How about Henrietta the horse? What do you think? We're going to use brown for our wooden bottom part. That's the rocker that it is set upon. And the tail is going to be brown too. And the mane. So that's our horse's hair. Now we're going for purple. We're going to do a purple saddle. Lovely. What colour shall we do the eye? Blue. What a great idea. And yellow at the bottom. There you go. It's a beautiful rocking horse. Well done. Bye. Hey kids, do you like music? Do you like musical instruments? Well, today we are going to show you how to draw and paint a glitter xylophone. You start by drawing lots of rectangles. That's right. A rectangle is where you've got two long sides and two short sides. Now in this picture, each rectangle is going to be slightly shorter than the previous one. Then we're going to join them all together with a long oblong shape on either side. 
they look a bit like sticks. Then we're going to draw circles on either end of each of our rectangles. The rectangles are the keys and the circles are the bits that hold them down. Then we're going to draw our beaters, so some long sticks with circular ends. Ready to paint! Starting with red. We're going to paint our first rectangle, taking care to paint around our circles. Beautiful! Do you play an instrument? Which instrument do you play? Yellow next! And if you don't play an instrument, is there one that you'd really love to learn? Do you have a favourite musical instrument? I love the xylophone! I love the sound it makes! It rings in my ears! It's just beautiful! Pink next! And of course it's always fun hitting things with beaters, isn't it? Did you know that a xylophone is in fact a percussion instrument? That's right, it comes from the percussion family, exactly where the drums come from too. Green for the next one. But this is tuned percussion, meaning you can play a tune on it. Wow, this is looking fantastic already! What colour shall we paint our last key? Purple! My favourite! How about you? What's your favourite colour? I just love the sparkly paint, don't you? There! Let's paint our circle silver! Three more to go! And done! Right, now for the underneath, brown, because this is going to be made of wood. So on a xylophone we've got a wooden body connecting it all together and the keys, the bits that we hit with our beaters, they are made of metal. Ready for the beaters? We're going to use a lovely gold colour for the ends. What colour shall we paint the sticks? Blue! Oh, I do love a bit of blue, don't you? And there you have it, a gorgeous, colourful, glittery xylophone. Go on, play us a tune. Hello friends, today we're going to learn how to draw fruits. That's right, what's your favourite fruit? I love cherries, so I'm going to start with those. Two cherries side by side, it looks almost like a heart shape, but a bit rounder. A little bit of shine, some stems and leaves. That was easy. Now some long shapes for bananas, we're doing a bunch, so three in a row. Next, it's an apple. A little bit like cherries with a little dent in the bottom too, and of course, much bigger. And a pear shape. We all know what a pear shape looks like, is that right? And a slice of watermelon. That's right. So you've got a curvy bottom and a triangular top. Some seeds. Last but not least, we're going to draw a bunch of grapes, starting with the ziggy zaggy leaf and the stem and then lots of circles side by side, layering it like so. And there you have it, time to paint! Ooh, green first, we're going to paint the leaves of our cherries. And red! Do you like cherries? Me too! Lovely! Next is going to be the bananas! Yellow, because they're going to be nice and ripe bananas! Have you ever tried having banana with honey? It's amazing! Especially in a sandwich! Brown for the ends of our bananas! And the stem! Now green for our apple leaf! And red for our apple. Of course we can get apples in varying colours, so you can choose what colour you'd like yours to be, but we're doing a nice red juicy apple. There! Time to paint our pear leaf! 
and we're using a lighter green for the pear itself. Carefully painting in between the black border. And it's done! There you go! Red next for the main part of our watermelon. Ooh, delicious! I love eating these on a hot summer's day. And green for the rim. Last but not least, we're going to do our lovely purple bunch of grapes. And grapes come in different colours too. Red, black, green, light, dark. So you can pick and choose your favourite ones. I like the dark ones because they are the sweetest. One more to colour. And now we do the leaf. What a lovely leaf it is too! And there you go! If you've enjoyed drawing and colouring these fruits, you can have a go at home! Why don't you try pausing the video to learn one at a time? Good luck! Hi friends! Look at my gorgeous house! Let's draw! We'll start with a triangle for the roof. It's going to be a wide triangle. Now, slightly inside the edge of the triangle, we're doing a rectangle underneath and a tall rectangular door with a circular door handle and square windows with crisscross frames. And now, let's do something in the garden. We're doing a gorgeous tree. A rectangle and a cone shape for the tree. A circle with small triangles on the outside for the sun. Look at those rays. There you go! That was so easy! Time to paint! Green first for our lovely tree! So you see, it just takes a few different shapes. You put them all together and you get a fabulous picture. You could draw your house taller, thinner, more windows, more doors, whatever you like. Brown for the tree trunk. What things do you have in your garden? Maybe some flowers and grass. We're doing a red roof. Wow, I would love a red sparkly roof on my house, wouldn't you? Almost there. Done. Now yellow. The main body of our house is going to be sparkly yellow. If you wanted, you could do patterns on your walls, like stripes or zigzags or even swirly-whirly patterns. Perhaps you could have some flowers growing up the side of your house. Maybe you could even draw bricks and make them multicoloured. There! Now for pink! Lovely pink window frames, but only every other one. Next we're going for blue, which we're going to alternate with the pink. Blue and pink look fantastic, don't you think? Purple now for the door. Wow, my favourite colour. Going around the door handle, side to side and done. Door handle can be green. Yes, and last but not least, a golden sun. Golden rays all around. Wonderful. And yellow for the main part. Wow, this looks amazing. And can you believe how easy it was to do? Brilliant. There you have it. Home sweet home. Hi friends! Today we're going to make a fashion closet! That's right! What kind of things would you have in your fashion closet? First of all, we draw a square outline and then double it up. Now we do the rest of the frame. Two lines across, horizontally. And some vertical lines. These are for our shelving. There! First of all, we'll draw a mannequin with a gorgeous necklace on. Wow! Next, let's do a handbag. And now a stripy one. And 
one more with a heart on it. Now we can hang our clothes. Let's draw a hanger and a lovely dress with diagonal stripes. And a middle hanger with a gorgeous heart dress. A bit of a frill on the bottom on this one and we'll do some stripes on this one too because we love stripes. And a wonderful party dress. Vertical stripes on this one too. There, let's do our shoes. Our evening shoes. Some boots too. What kind of shoes do you have in your closet? A hat. And some sunglasses. And now the feet. Right, time to paint. Let's paint the frame in yellow. Gorgeous sparkly yellow frame. Very nice indeed. And now we'll go for purple feet. Painting the mannequin next. That will be black. To make our necklace stand out, we're going to use blue for the pendant and a lovely yellow for the chain. Beautiful. Green for the button on our handbag pink for the rest. Now let's do our stripey handbag. Blue handle. The first stripe could be red, then green. What colour shall we use next? Purple. What a great idea. And yellow. Wow, what a colourful bag. Green for our next one. Nice and bright. Ooh, some blue for our top half. A two-tone bag. And a pink handle and a pink heart and yellow for the seal. Right, on to our dresses. Our gorgeous party dress with some purple stripes and pink. Don't you just love alternating purple and pink? It looks fantastic. A yellow belt across the middle and it's perfect. Red now for our next dress. We're going to paint in the heart and the sleeves and every other stripe alternating with yellow for our main body and the stripes remaining and a blue belt on this one pink for our next dress you see you can have so much fun with this you can do any colours you like all one colour if you want or as we've done lots of alternating colours you can also do patterns we've done some hearts here we've done stripes going different directions we've got vertical horizontal diagonal you could do flowers you could do lots of frills be really creative with your designs and have fun right we're going to do our shoes some pink heels beautiful and some lovely yellow stripes blue heels and pink boots and why not now time to do our lovely hat. Green and pink that is. And last but not least, our sunglass frames. Groovy red. With a blue inside. And there you have it. A beautiful closet. Ooh la la. Hi kids! Today we're going to teach you how to draw and paint a gorgeous glittery motorcycle. <laughs> That's right! Have you ever been on a motorcycle? We're drawing the outline first, starting with the back wheel. This motorcycle frame is going to be made up of lots of different shapes and straight lines and curvy lines, rectangle circles, all pieced together like a jigsaw puzzle. Now, if it looks a bit complicated because there's quite a lot of detail in our version of a motorcycle, you can always simplify it and do a much easier version or you can pause the video and just copy each part step by step one at a time. We have repeated things as well, like once you've done the back wheel, the front wheel's just almost exactly the same. So 
time to paint. We're going to do a nice black tyre. And then the inside's going to be purple. And green. We're going to do every other section of our wheel in turquoise. Alternating with yellow. Lovely. The front wheel can be exactly the same. You can be as creative as you like with this. Choose your favourite colours. Alternating or doing them the same. It's all up to you. Right, now we're going for the gold. We're going to do little details of our bike. And red. Purple, my favourite colour. Don't you think the back of the motorcycle looks a bit like a rocket ship? I'm just waiting for it to take off into space. Lovely bright green there. It really sets off against the other colours, don't you think? Gorgeous. Following the curvy lines and the straight lines. There, turquoise next. So take your pick of colours and choose where to put them. The good thing about doing lots of detail on our drawing is that you've got lots of different options of where to put different colours. You see we've got little dabs of gold and purple and blue. It's like a gorgeous patchwork quilt of a motorcycle. Last but not least, it's yellow. That lighter colour really offsets the super bright and dark colours. And we're done! Good job kids! That's amazing! Wow, look at our bike! It's the best bike ever! Brum, brum. Go on, let's go for a ride! Subscribe and watch more! Cheeky Art!